Hey, what's it, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Black on the Res. I'm your host, Token Black. Today, we're going to talk about... What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Black on the Res. I'm your host, Token Black. Today, we're going to talk about USDT, also known as Tether. <laughs> Oh, before we start, to the moon! That's right, to the moon. Well, not really. Tether to the moon. Because Tether is a, it's a crypto exchange coin, really. It's, I mean, you, you, you take your regular money and you buy Tether and you use Tether to exchange to any type of crypto coins. I like using it because it's easy to get and you can use it to buy thousands of coins rather than going to an exchange, exchanging one type of coin, then going to another exchange and exchanging another type of coin. Tether just makes it a whole lot easier. Although there's a lot of coins that you can't exchange, say for instance, Safe Moon, you can't exchange with that. You have to do something like you have to be MacGyver basically to buy Safe Moon, pretty much. But Tether, bless you. Tether, Tether. <laughs> tether base is just gonna stay at a dollar. So no matter which exchange you get it, it might be ninety nine cents. It might be a dollar. Could be a dollar twenty five, but it's one of those coins that would never go higher than a dollar because it's meant to be exchanged. It's not meant to be held on to, and that's basically tether. Take your real money, whatever currency you have, yen. Pesos, dollars, Canadian, US. Buy USDT, Tether. And buy whatever coins you need. And that's pretty much what Tether is. It's just an exchange token. Or coin. However you wanna. I know there's a difference between the two, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. So do that and I recommend you getting Tether. Cause it's especially if you're not so you don't want to use your debit card online for some of these um exchanges that way you can get because you can get tether at a reputable exchange such as binance you want raspberries okay i'll get you some raspberries But Tether is a highly recommended. I usually keep from anywhere from two hundred to three hundred dollars, and Tether just sitting back, just in case I want to do a quick exchange of a coin. Because uh, Tether has a lot of coin pairs, so I would say keep some Tether held somewhere. So if you see a coin that you want, you can quickly exchange. Instead of, you know, move around. But what I do when I don't use Tether is I take whatever profit I made from one coin and I use that profit and exchange it by a different coin. That's what I do if I don't want to really invest any more money. So I would highly recommend you do that too. So, and that's my word. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> 